We are live? Yeah. Yes, we are live. Hello, everybody. We are at Essen Spiel. Uh, we are Czech Games Edition. You're watching our YouTube channel. We are very excited to be here. It's uh, the setup day. It's Wednesday. Uh, the fair hasn't started yet, so you might be able to hear some sounds from people setting up the booths, opening boxes and stuff like that. Uh, we have a lot of awesome stuff planned for you today. And I also have the fantastic Peter Hofgaard with me here today. Hello, Peter. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. It's how how awesome is Essen for you so far? I mean, it's the first day, but it's it's the first spiel you're going to be attending as a game designer, right? Yeah. Yes, it is, and it's very, it's it's very surreal to be sort of surreal. on the other side of everything. Yeah. Because I've been here for seven years as a consumer and reviewer, but so but now I'm on the other side of things. It's yeah. a, it's a very special feeling. I really, uh, I really I, I cannot it. imagine. No. And I guess it's going to be very special for you because we are going to be unboxing the first copy ever of Starship Captains together with Peter Hofgaard. So uh, uh, he told me that he has never opened the copy yet. I, so I, I actually got a copy this morning, but yeah. I wanted to wait and open it for now so that I so it would be the real unboxing. Yeah, we're going to do it together, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Hello to everybody in chat. I, I don't have actually the chat uh, in front of me like visible. So I will be peeking uh, in, in several points to see if you have any questions for Peter, for us, for, for like uh, the game. So uh, we're going to do the unboxing now, like uh, open it up and see what's inside. And after that, stay with us because we have like uh, a lot of guest publishers coming here to also showcase their games, uh, do a small presentation, like a pitch, 15 minutes each. And it's like a lot of the hot games on the uh, SN Spiel list. So stay tuned. And Starship Captains is, is one of them, is in the hotness list. And we're very excited to start would you like to? Um, Un unwrap I mean, the shrink. we have to also do this, this first. This is always hard. Yeah, this is always you hard. Do you have nails. I don't have nails. I did it. Okay. That was very easy to do. Yeah. Usually, it takes me like a long time to take off the shrink wrap. And will you do the honors I will of try open it without making a weird noise? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, yay! Hey, there's stuff inside. Here it is. So I guess these are uh, the crew members, mm -hmm. right? They I don't are. know if they're visible in the camera. And these ones as well. First we see uh, the rule book. We've also shared this, I think, on our social media. You guys can find like the actual PDF to see all, all the rules. So that's the rule book. Uh, this is the, the scoring pad, right? Yes, this is the scoring pad. It's very nice double-sided scoring pad. Double-sided, okay, that's good. Nice details. Baggies, Baggies always important. Very important, very useful. Uh, these are the um, player aids. Yeah, player aids. Yeah, player mm -hmm. aids. Right, and okay, this commercial commercial stuff. <laughs> and what's the name of, of this? The, that is the, the tech boards or the, your, the your tech, tech slots. Board. I actually think it is in the name. So it's uh, where so each, you put each player puts their technology right. cards. So uh -huh. There's one for each player. Okay. Well, and these are also double sided, by the way. A lot of the stuff in the game is double sided for replayability, so it has a different Right, it has setup. a different bonus um, exactly. that you can unlock. Yeah, so that's so, the mm -hmm. tech display board where the display of text is, is going to be. And one side is for a normal game, two to four players, and the other side you use when you play solo. Okay, so this is so two to cells. four. And the other um, side is. Uh, yes, one. solo. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't really know much about the solo game. Get into it. Okay, we'll get into that as well. Awesome. So, I guess we can punch these, right? These sure. are to make the, um, the, ships. the starship. Yeah, they are. Would you like to do that? Yes, let's do it. Do you enjoy punching I really boards? Like punching. You I do? normally, I have, especially at Essen, where you buy too many games, at least I do. Then it's so it's so relaxing just sitting back in the hotel I, yeah. and just punch like five <laughs> or six games in a row. Just to, yes. and it's so, yeah, 
meditative. It's, it's really, meditative, uh, and I think uh, there's a lot of people like at Essen or other fairs that want to fit a lot of games in their sub suitcases. Yeah. So one way to do it to reduce the like the size or the the, the weight, the weight yes. is to punch out yeah, exactly. all the components. You can actually do a lot of you can put boxes inside boxes if you're exactly. very efficient. Exactly. Exactly. So that's a fun little game. That's you can an make art yourself. on its yeah, it own. Is. Ooh, so I love are, the ring yeah. so much. I don't know why I no, do, but yeah. these and are the androids, the golden and androids. And the androids, yay! I don't know if people can see it. They are very nice. Okay, so we can put this over here, I guess. And ooh, we got cards. the cards. Okay. You do it. This, this is also the tricky part, right? If, if yeah, is, that's also the tricky part. That's there true. There is a band. I see there is a. a on the oh, I found band. it. Uh, uh, I think so. Well, that was that was it. easy. I'm completely used to it. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So these are uh, the tech cards. Oops. Yeah, because we have the phone. Yeah. That was too high. That was too high. Okay, I guess people saw so all the cards then. And, and these, these are, are the, yay. the mission cards. Mm -hmm. so I think there is 50 missions. 50 so you see, missions. there's a lot more missions that you'll see in, in any game. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of uh, replayability on that. Then there are some solo cards for you can play solo, mm -hmm. passengers on your ship. Mm -hmm. And then there are two station cards that you use for setting the game up. Right. Uh, can I ask you, do you yes. have any favorite mission oh, cards? I have many favorite yeah. mission cards. Yeah. All of them. No, Tell me them. about a few that... I, I like a lot of them. Uh, let's see can if we can... Can you find the ones that you like a lot? Some and, of them have like... And why? ...funny names and mm -hmm. there's a lot of details on a lot of yeah. them that you... Um, <laughs> let's see... Uh, I love how colorful the missions are. I they think are it's very, very colorful. One of my favorite things. I, I think this is a fun one. Because it's sort of a, you can see it. It's, a, it's called Urgent Repairs. And of course, uh -huh. the urgent repair is the coffee machine that's broken. I'm a big coffee drinker. <laughs> okay. So it's fun to have this. And this I just thought it was fun. Urgent Repairs. All of, a lot of the missions are about bigger things. And this is just a coffee machine that's yeah. broken. And I like that sort of the, uh -huh. the humor part. This is also. Just a nice one where you're trading emotion chips to the to the androids that of mm -hmm. course don't have emotions and they want the emotions. Oh, in the emotion chips. chips. Exactly. How, it's a, it's a sort of it's a subtle reference to some Star Trek. So uh -huh. some Star Trek people okay. will get the reference. Okay. For that. Okay. But also yeah, just the the art style of it's everything. It's beautiful. It's very it's very beautiful. nice. Even it's is it four or five different artists that actually did the illustrations for the missions, but it turned out so nice and cohesive anyway. So. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of lot of fun ones in here, and just titles and it's a lot of lot of 90s sci-fi references. That right, so right, people that, right. that know and seen all the cult sci-fi 90s movies, they'll find a lot of things they they enjoy. Yeah, I guess you'll see like comments on BGG hopefully. referring to that. Oh, and I hope so. Hopefully, yeah. Okay, so, so this that is, is that's one of the stations. It's the Tinkin right. stations, the Tinkin androids, stations. And the gold like the gold. Like the androids. Exactly. Okay. So we have that. And these are um, the pirate ships. The pirate ships. And pirates are of course evil, you know. They have They're evil. Um, all pirates are evil. Oh they're not all evil. <laughs> I will game, be though. I will be punching these out. Yes. Maybe you can show people Oops. Okay, these are all done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these are again the, the last of the, the, the tech ah, yeah. slots for the tech slots players, so for one. the player yep. ships. And what is this? That is a good question. It's an extra something. Okay, we don't know yet. An unidentified object. And over we'll, find, here. we'll find out. Hopefully. We'll find out. Yes. And ooh, yes. these are the ships. These are the ships. Ooh, and oh, it's, oh, it's one of these uh, middle parts. Okay. That goes out, so. Ah, exactly, right. So it's not no. used in anything. No. Okay. So the ships, yeah. we should be able to make the ships, make like, the ship, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. We should. I don't know how. Well, we can find out. I'm not sure exactly how. But. 
Okay. It's in the rule book, I know. It's in the rule book. <laughs> we can find it out. So rules. first, I think we should punch it out. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. Oh, it's a really big, it's a really big one. So these are also out, These are also out, yeah. They're just, uh, okay. You could keep them if you want to slot them back in after every game, so it looks pretty, but probably not. Is this something we, we keep? No. 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 That just has to go. Okay. Okay. Wow. So, Look yeah. at that. There are some, uh, some stickers, double-sided tape included, so you can stick them together. It's like oh, yeah. little spots for them We're here. supposed to find them Somewhere in the box. In the box okay. But the cool part is, and it's completely unnecessary, but the ship actually has a backside. Ooh, I didn't know You never that. see that, but no. it's, still, it's still here, so it, it is wow. sort of like... I feels love that. I, I love that detail. Yes. I love that too. Do you play by a specific color usually? Because I know people... I'm normally either blue, but I'm not like... I, I can play it. I don't go crazy if yeah, I can't yeah, play yeah, blue. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I've is, noticed that people don't really choose red, so I, I end up taking red blue. usually. I don't know. It's also a little funny we had to go for a different player colors here because the, the the crew in the game has like the standard blue and red and yellow colors, so we had to go for different colors. So the, the player colors right. here are orange and are, purple and yeah. uh, like neon greenish, so they're a little different. They're more sci-fi looking anyway. Mm -hmm. like, but yeah, this is, turns out like to be a really nice uh, double dual aid board, which mm -hmm. is very nice. And it's a uh, yeah, this is the Q. This is the Q. Yeah, we'll get I into that. But it has yeah. uh, it has this amazing tactile thing of doing this. Yes, it never yes, gets yes, old. yes. It feels then, satisfying. Yeah. I don't know why, but and it does. There are slots here for damage and stuff you pick up, and no PR. The rings. The promotion. The promotion rings. Have, promotion rings. Each player will have five rings, so they're nicely. It sort of nicely holds all your stuff that you need. I guess we will do the, the setup pretty much, so we can talk about the game yes. after the, the unboxing. So you get to see all of the, the to, things I'll where they, to they go to. Yes, we need to keep it neat a little bit. So I'm almost done with the pirates. Nice. Should, okay. should we put them in a the bag already? I want to put stuff in the yes, bag. Yes, let's put stuff in a bag. I think that's always one of the hardest things when you punch a new game. You want to organize them in bags, but you don't know the good way of exactly. organizing it. It's like, exactly. should you put all the player pieces in there, or should exactly. all these tokens be in the same bag? And but we're in luck because we're here with a designer, I, so... I might know. <laughs> okay. Uh, more uh, aircrafts, airships. Spaceships. Spaceships. Or starships. Yes. Starships, yes. It's, the game is called Starship, so it's exactly. probably it's, it's easier to remember how to call them like that, yeah. Uh, and how are these called? These are, they're, oh yeah, what exactly is the name? They're setup tokens setup that tokens. you use to uh, to randomize where missions and space stations are on the on the main board. Mm -hmm. so I think they're just called setup tokens. Actually, these are special. These are uh, uh, station tokens, so they go on three stations one for each uh, faction in the game so they go on the station so but the okay. other triangles are uh, are set up tokens all right uh, very close to finishing with this my, my wife is so happy because she likes purple and there's like a pink purple okay. in the game so she wants to <laughs> always be purple so how she sort of can purple is a very popular it is color in general Okay. Yep, we are done. Ah, oh, no, there's two more tokens it's over always here. Always tokens. Which are pretty yeah, important. I think there's I guess. also some tokens in this middle part. Uh, no, you got no them all. I got, got them all. So this is. Should I just pull this aside? And throw trash. It in here? Oh, and these and ones as well. And I hope to find the double side. Oh, yeah, here's the double sided tape. So we can make can at least for real. one of the, the starships. Which which one? Do you want to do the purple one since it's your I can I can your wife's favorite? Yeah. Okay, let's see. So let's see. I actually have no idea how this actually works. I think I know how it works because there are little. Icons. I guess how many are they? Uh, uh, eight, and we put three in each. 
So. Oh yeah, then there's like a little piece of extra ah, tape. Ah, okay. Oh, oh, it's just ah. So oh, it just, uh, puts I don't a know if people saw that, but that's cool. A little glue part. Uh, yeah, you you place it on top and then you peel it. So let's let's do the other one so that people can see. So, uh, you don't have to be that precise. So you yeah. Push it down a bit and, uh, yeah. Yeah. Ta da! Okay, that's sticky. And last but not least, again, you don't really have to do this yeah. if you don't wanna, I guess. Yeah, it's not necessary because still you can uh, place the tokens on it anyways. Yeah, almost there. I guess I, I, yeah, I could have done it because I have a you little have bit more nails. But yeah, so we just uh, closing it up. close it. Oops. I don't know if I'm... This is the way to do it, or but it's it's now sturdy. It is now one ship. Yeah. That's how easy it is one to piece. build starships in real yeah. life. Also, Just exactly. Put two pieces of cardboard. <laughs> oh, it's but beautiful. Yeah, it's very nice, and they have I like different it. engine glow. So this one has purple, and this one is orange. Yeah. And the, the engines are different colors as well. Beautiful. All right, so we have uh, nice. the two of the starships. Maybe we should punch out these as well. Oh, and what are these? Do you know? These are they are uh, uh, player color tokens that you use on uh, ah, okay. on these tracks to uh, where your position is. So right. They sort of match the color of your ship. So right. So you'll go yes. up on these tracks based on mm -hmm. stuff you do in the game. And if you loop around, you get more stuff, and you can keep looping around. Right. Forever. Okay. And, ooh, what's that? Oh, that is, yeah, that, those are, they're, they're a little special. They're actually, it's funny, they're like, they're tokens that are included because for, for these tracks, when you when you loop around the track once, you flip your tokens, so now you get five extra points. But mm -hmm. if you ever loop around a second time, of course you can't flip it over again, because you lose yeah. the point. Then you get one of these tokens, there's one for each of the stations, and they give you the extra points. Right. So it's for, when you loop around the track twice, which happens very rarely. So there are these tokens that very rarely happen, um, but they're so fun and they're like thematic they're for the pirate faction, it's a pirate hat. Um, so they're, they're fun little like achievement I love the tokens. Pirate hats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That you can get if very you loop tracks twice. Hat. It's very hard to do, but then it feels even better when you actually get them and you yeah. can brag about it. So that's, uh, that's I, I didn't know about this token. It's oh. pretty cool. I like right there, it. Nice. Uh, what else is here? Well, just yeah. the, the other uh, starship. This goes to it's trash. Ooh, we have the board. We're going to see and later. More stuff. More. A lot more stuff. Uh, much more um, stuff. It's very, I like it. It's very easy to punch the game. It's, it's very easy to punch. That's true. That is a... Uh, so, do you remember the, the uh, how the other factions are called? The, the pirate faction, that's the pirate faction with the, the pirate hat here. Ah, oh, the pirate they're, faction, They're yeah. called the, the Neon. Neon, Spelled I like that. Spelled with weird stuff, which is actually an anagram for my wife's name. So. Oh, so okay. That's why they're called, not that she's a pirate or me, but... Uh, <laughs> But it's um, wow! Yeah. I didn't know that. No, no. So it's uh, like she's she's sort of in the game. It's she deserves sense. because she spent a lot of time listening to me yammer about the game. So. Were you playtesting with her? Uh, yes, some. Yeah. But she, well, I talked about it forever in two years, right? So, so okay. It's a little part to make her happy. And that's the, nice. the the purple track is that's your your faction in the game. The ones you're working for. It's called they're called the cooperative. The, the friendly people the friendly trying people. to help out everyone else. So, okay. so that's the, the purple track. And then there's a, nice. a, a golden track. Is the, yeah, so the we have three tracks. tracks. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, and we, then we have the artifacts. Let me yes. show people the artifacts. These are the artifacts. Yes, there are three, three different This is the other the side, side of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll explain. We'll explain what they explain do. Explain what they do. Uh, cool, and we actually added a little something for 
to help uh, colorblind friendliness. So the, oh, okay. the colors in general, when a color is something to do with a, a blue crew, uh, it will have uh, the symbol of a, of a square. Mm -hmm. And it's actually also on the artwork and everyone. So each of the, the the main colors in the game will have a symbol. So blue has a square, red has a triangle, and uh, yellow ah. has a circle. So okay, that's to to help out people and it also looks cool. Yeah, looks great. And these are the damage tokens. Yeah. Damage is bad. You don't damage, want damage is bad. You don't want to. You want to no. get rid of those tokens. So get a quick look of that. Um, and I don't know about you, but I sometimes like the sound the, the of the board game components. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm getting close to the... You can hear it? Okay. I like that. Punching, punching. board game component punching ASMR. Yes, exactly. Like there should it. be a, There should be a, it If should it doesn't be a exist, thing. well, we'll make it a thing. It should be a thing. Um, okay, and this is something that's I the first seen. player marker ah okay that that's the first player, player marker, marker so cool uh, okay to keep track of that so we have a system i punch out things you punch and Peter i order things i I'm, I'm an obsessive uh, <laughs> i want stuff ordered right away so it's a good system it's a good system and i'm very excited to make the the little yes, ships the small ships they're fun yeah okay that's the the last no we're there's always, do this there's the always more tokens. More tokens. It is, a Euro, it is a Euro game, so it has to have tokens. <laughs> it is a Euro game. So these are the medals. Yes. You want a lot of these, I suppose. Yes. The more medals, the better, of course. Uh huh. And they're, yeah, double sided, it's the same thing. Um. <laughs> and. Yeah, before I do the rest of the damage, we're gonna see the starships. The starships. And we had some other components. Yes, I had these save ones. Them here, yep. All right. Can you build them? So we have. Do you know how to build? Them? I am not so sure. Oh, these bend. These bend, and I guess I punch these out. Yes. You do. Okay. Well. So. I guess you, you I know should. I know how to do it. <laughs> so it's very simple. Yeah. You you fold this like this. Ah, okay. And then you fold these like this. And uh -huh. then you put one and decide if I could do it without breaking it, it would probably be nice. Oh okay. So I guess there is a right right side and a and a and a wrong side. Because they're uneven, right? A little bit. Yes. But I think I did it correctly. Yes. Yeah, it looks yeah, like it's, it's, in it's the middle. correct. I guess by now you can tell we are in the setup day. There is a lot of tro trolleys going around, people getting their games, pallets moving. Now we have a tiny little scarf. Yay! That of course has the same color and looks kind of like the, the player board, so it's easy to... Yeah, yeah. I really like how they turned out. Uh, it's this Look folded cardboard, and it looks like... You see the color it matches, yep. so you can clearly see that it's your starship. Nice! I like that. It turned out very nice. Uh, okay. And I think we are probably ready to uh, so put build. the last bits into bags and open up the board. The board. We want to see the board. Just put more stuff into the bags. And, and the other starships are over here. Okay. Um, okay. Do we have any major questions from chat? I don't know. Do we have any questions from chat? Okay, well, we can put this somewhere else, somewhere. I guess. <laughs> and yeah, helpers, helpful helpers. Oh, we have more, more tokens. There's more tokens. Oh, there's I didn't always see those. more tokens. Yeah, there's more tokens. Oh, this can, whoops. Okay. 
Now, the, the thing is that I'm, I'm not great always, at punching. Yeah. Oh, but it, that looks okay. It's, sa it's saved. Like yeah. All right, that's done. More punching over here. And there's the green starship. So we have everything. So for people who don't know, this is the first time Starship Captains is uh, being released. Uh, and it, it appeared in Gen Con as well, but just, just as a prototype. And it's the setup day, everybody. Yeah, this is what you're gonna hear. I hope you can hear me well though. Um, yeah, so this is one of our two big releases this year and we are almost ready to do the, the setup. The, the green starship over there. Yep, do we have enough space? It's a good question. For, for this. Well, let's see. Really feels good to punch out big it pieces does. of cardboard. I feel like you get a lot done. <laughs> punching tiny yeah, things. yeah. But you're efficient. Okay. I think I'm getting better at it now. Uh, what color is this? Is this cy cyan? It's cyan. Yeah, cyan. I think that looks called cyan. Like, I like this a lot. Nice. Oh, you cannot see this, people, but we have a, a huge crane over us at the moment. I, I hope, you know, Hopefully nothing, we, nothing it happens. Won't fall on our heads. <laughs> but if something happens, you're gonna <laughs> you watch it live. Yeah. Um, okay. So we have the board and yes. is oh it's threefold or no, no it's, it's just twofold. Two yeah. Well, oh, that's exactly. awesome because it fits. And I guess yeah, you can see it. Well, we this? we need to, to get rid of these things. I don't know where. Maybe in the big the box. For our lovely assistant. <laughs> Yeah, these two. Thank you so much. Oops. All right. Yes. So that's the so board. So this is the board. It's double-sided. So there is oh, actually yeah. one side for four players. Mm -hmm. And of course, the other side will have you playing one, two, three pairs. Right. So the main difference is the four-player board has one more planet. Mm -hmm. so there's a bit more stuff, so you don't get too crowded with that. Okay. With four players. Nice. Mm -hmm. And there is the. Where do we place the, the technology, the technology thing? Here, somewhere it is here. It's the photo one. Uh huh. So I suppose we place the two to four exactly. players. Exactly. Yes, exactly. The other side is you do when you play solo. The solo. But uh, we're not playing solo uh -huh. right now. So that's it. You can put it anywhere you want, but yeah, for, mm -hmm. for this purpose, it makes sense to put up here. All right. So, what should we do? Uh, what should we do? I guess the coolest the real setup. Yeah, we can do some setup. I don't think we need to do all of it, oh. but I really want to see the the player board, like the the starship of each player, and how the queue works with all the um, the figurines. We can set that up. Yeah. My wife's color. Yeah, your she'll wife's color. She might be watching. I hope she is. She might be watching, yes. If my son is behaving, she'll probably be watching. So, um, yeah, so the way you set up your ship, and you'll have your ship, and you'll have your tech board. The, uh, other the tech, tech board, yeah, it yeah, was. They're gone. I think I saw them. You had them, right? You already lost them. Oh, they're down here. Oh, I hope we didn't throw them away by accident. So, yeah. Okay. So, they'll have some of stuff will have icons because mm -hmm. in the game you are a Starship Captain, but you just 
got to be a starship captain. So you got your first ship, and of course no one really trusts you, so you get a dodgy, crappy damage ship. So you start, okay. start off with some damage. You have to so, start from a so low point you to have prove to start, yourself. Exactly, like everything yeah. in life. You exactly. Have to, uh, like, so you start with, uh, with some damage on uh, these tech slots, so you only uh -huh. have two available at the beginning of the game, and some of your cargo, which is uh, these ones are also uh, damaged. Um. So, some of your ship is damaged, so you only have four slots for storing and only two slots for tech. Mm -hmm. The right. crew! This is where the really important thing is. Mm -hmm. There's in the rule book it tells you that there are some friendly reminders here, so you can see there's a right. red, yellow, blue and a gray uh, dot. So you know you start with a uh, uh, blue crew and a uh, red crew. And, uh, so this is your uh, ready. This is your, this is the, the, we call it the, the ready room. Where, ready room. Where people are ready to take take orders and you can mm -hmm. command them to do whatever, uh, whatever you want. So you, you start with one of each color uh, mm -hmm. in the game and then in your, in your queue, we call it the queue, so there's also three little spots for so everyone starts out uh, the same way, like this. Nice. That's so your setup, and then of course mm -hmm. you have the the little circles you have to put. In the oh yeah, slots. the promotions. It also looks pretty cool. I can also get some of the tech cards, maybe yeah. to put over there. Slot in nicely here. And the cool thought about that this is that you actually don't have tokens lying around your board anyway. Everything sort of fits on your board as an organizer. So you mm -hmm. don't have like piles of stuff yeah, around you. Yeah, just all in I there. like stuff that's neat yeah. like this. So that yeah. you, you, it helps you organize and be organized. Uh, so this is like done with... Yes. At the back they have alpha and uh, beta. beta. Cards. Yep. And... I don't remember how you do this. You, but uh, it's it's very simple actually. So mm -hmm. so you you shuffle the deck, and then oh, yeah. then yeah. for the initial cards up here, mm -hmm. you do you do uh, it also says in the board you do five alpha cards. So you just shuffle oh, the deck. Oh, it says it here. Yes. You just shuffle the deck, and then you re basically just reveal until you have five. Uh huh. It's pretty easy, and then whatever better cards you reveal, you put, you put, it put at, the, at the bottom. So it's very quickly. Awesome. And there's no. It's not like the beta cards are better than the alpha cards. The, yeah. the alpha cards are yeah. just more interesting to get early in the game, so that's why we want right. them, them early in the right. game. And then you put up these five cards, like so. And then for the last three shots, which also says down here, yeah. you place three, three Omega, Omega cards. And this is Omega cards. very clever if you're even slightly geeky because Alpha and Beta is the first letters of the yeah, Greek alphabet, and Omega is the last. And these Omega texts, as we call them, they're about at the end of the game scoring. And game points. scoring. So they're yes. in game scoring, and it's fun that they're Omega texts. Yes. yes. That yes. makes sense, at least for me. All right. So that's uh, the, the tech display set up. It always replenishes when mm -hmm. you play, but that's how it is initially. Um, I guess we can talk about like what you do in the game, what's the main things you can do. It, the, the setup is not complete. The setup is this is only like your personal setup yeah. here. You would also have, I don't think we have room for that, but you would have these all these faction tracks. Uh, the, you would place them somewhere here. You, you, you don't get see to see all. them, but slightly maybe. But they're here. Yeah. And you would place your your colored tokens of your ship on, on those and, and move around that one. But uh, mm -hmm. again, and they can be placed wherever you want. Right. So. The main board will be populated by missions, and that's what we use these uh, triangle tokens for. We yes. place them everywhere, and they sort of randomize where missions are appearing. We don't have to do everything, but you just randomly place them. Um, this is for only for a four player, so you just discard that. Mm -hmm. So you just place them everywhere, and you, just, you can do it however fast you want, and then. Very easy to do that. We're missing one token. This is so for just... randomization, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So now you just all the ones that have a mission on it, you just discard them, mm -hmm. and that's where the missions. This is where you start. place the mission cards. So okay. So let's uh, just go over 
mission cards out here. So you will place the mission on all these spots. And again, just shuffle on the random. So it's like so. And then you make sure all the numbers that are left, mm -hmm. you flip them like this. And these are counters for where new missions will come. So whenever someone completes a mission anywhere, mm -hmm. then you find the highest number, so in this case six, six. And, and that's where the new mission will spawn. Mm -hmm. And if this mission was completed, then you flip you place it down the... here. Oh, okay. So next time it's going to be five and four, and then when you're all the way down to one and you flip that, the new pirates spawn. They're mm -hmm. annoying, but uh, yeah. So it, the missions pops up different mm -hmm. where on the board, but you always know where they'll pop up. You mm -hmm. don't know what they are, so. Where is our little starship to place it? Your, uh, it's right okay, here. so it's so you start the, here in, you the start in the station. Yeah. And then okay. some pirate ships also. And again, pirates. Oh, yeah, are, we have pirates, pirates in between. Are not, are not nice at all. They're not nice. Do you yet. have the pirates? I don't have the pirates. You punched the pirates. But I did punch the pirates, I remember that. Uh, it's a very friendly version of the game. No <laughs> it's a very friendly version of the game. Oops. Okay, we're losing some components, but we're gonna yeah, find them. Yeah, okay, we have the pirates. Everything. So is okay. at the beginning of the game, every like halfway here that has a a skull it has a has a pirate because yeah. the pirates have skulls on their backside, so it's just to help you out. So you'll just place random ones there. So do so you have to match the, the color? No. no? Not here. Ah, okay. But for when you spawn them later, you match ah, the color. All right. But for uh, the setup, it's just like that. Yes. The okay. so setup is actually pretty fast. All right. So, oh, I'm, I'm losing tokens. I'm going to get it up later. Everywhere. Um, okay. So, yeah, I guess we can talk about... We have five minutes to talk about what you actually do in the game. Yes. So what you actually do in the game is you spend your time flying around space mm -hmm. and completing these missions. This, the missions will score you points. And of course you win by having the most points. Uh, so it's very simple. On your turn, you can do one of two things. You can either activate one of the rooms on your ship or you can complete a mission. Mm -hmm. So you start with one of each color crew and each color crew can do a different thing. So the red crew, for instance, can activate your red room and that makes you move your starship. And there's two arrows so you can move up to twice. So I could move one, two down here to this mission. The yellow crew are the, uh, your, your, your us, tactical mm -hmm. officers. They can shoot down pirates if there are any adjacent to you. So in this case, I could shoot down uh, this pirate if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. So shooting down pirates, they shoot back. You take some damage, but you also get some stuff, but which it's, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. So that's and you what, place the pirates here, you right? You place the pirate mm -hmm. uh, down here. You take some extra damage, just do it like this, and then you get this one would also give you an artifact and a medal in this case. Right. And show it to people. Okay. So that's what the yellow ones do. The blue ones, they're the very cool Euro guys. They're the scientists. They can do the awesome things. They make you, you can pick any card from the tech display up here. Mm -hmm. Any card you want at all. Say I pay this one. And mm -hmm. then you can place it in any of your undamaged slots or they can't be a card there, but you can place them any way you want. If you're very clever when you place them, then you can match some, uh, some icons. So if I placed it here, I don't know if you can see, but these icons here, you, you match them, so you get a, a little extra reward, mm -hmm. which is very nice. So, okay. tech cards do different things. Some of them give you just a passive ability, and again, as we talked about, the Omega Techs gives you points. Uh, this specific card, because it has a yellow box here, gives you another use for your crew. So now, if you have this tech, when you use your yellow crew, you can either shoot down a parachute or you can activate this ability, mm -hmm. so it gives you more flexibility and the, mm -hmm. the abilities are more powerful. Right. And this is like the, the, the engine building Yes, the tech thing. cards are, uh, there's also sort of engine building in building the crew, but there's, so there's both tech engine building and crew engine building. So mm -hmm. the crew sort of works like a, similar to a deck builder or a pool builder that you, you have this crew and you can, uh, you can spend medals to change their colors mm -hmm. and promote them. This is what these rings are for. If you promote your crew, they become uh, uh, commanders. 
and they are twice as good so they can activate two rooms yep so all of this is very nice but again you have to get points to win the game right um, how, how do so you get how do points? you get points and that's exactly what i said that's one act you either take an action to activate a room or if you're at a mission you can choose to complete the mission so you, your ship has mm -hmm. to be at a mission and you can uh, you put it down here uh, and then you have to place at least as many crew as there are mm -hmm. spots you don't have to match the color but for each line you match the color so here the yellow doesn't match here so you won't get this but the blue will match here so you mm -hmm. will get that regardless you will get the points here at the end mm -hmm. so they always score your points you want to ideally match the crew members yes, color with have, the to mission have. to get the so stuff these get flipped over so but in any case, you get the points. You always get the points. If so you place, if you activate, like if you, crew members yes. there. Okay. So the neat thing and the fun thing about this is when, like, whenever you, use, as I showed, whenever you use crew, they go back in your queue here. Yay! And of course, eventually you'll run out of crew to use, and everyone will run out. And when everyone has run out, then the round is over, and you start a new round. And how you start a new round? It's very simple. You put your finger here. Yeah. You push everything like this except Yay. for the last three they get stuck there they get they're relaxing they're taking relaxing. a break they've been working hard okay. so what this means is the next round you'll have different crew available and mm -hmm. the last crew you lose use the previous round won't be available so this becomes when you start playing the game it's just something you figure out that it's there but it becomes part of the puzzle that you need to activate things in a specific order so but okay. that's sort of the basic thing you get points you can go up tracks to get even more points uh, and yeah that's it Very yeah simply. so you, you have to figure out which crew members yes. you need now versus which ones you're gonna need in the next exactly. round and exactly if you get tech cards for instance this you would have a yellow you might want more yellow crew so you mm -hmm. can spend your your medals to to get more yellow crew maybe mm -hmm. because you want to use that more so it becomes you are changing your crew to fit your knees and the tech cards you mm -hmm. have so it's both mm -hmm. it's both engine building here but it's also you're also building i, I call it crew building you're building your crew yeah so you know, you're changing them and making them into uh, whatever you want right mm -hmm. and there are several things that give you points aside from uh, missions mission is the primary way and then mm -hmm. there's the, the omega techs and then there's your position on the the, the tracks at the end of the game, so whenever you move up, so if, if you ended the game here, you would score two extra points. Mm -hmm. uh, so that also gives you points. But again, most the missions are the thing that mostly moves you up the interact. So it's sort yeah. of you have to do missions True. if you want to win the game. Right, but if right. you do missions, then you don't get all the cool engine building things. Yeah. So that's sort of yeah, yeah, that's yeah, where yeah. it gets interesting, right? Because if you just do engine building, then you won't do missions. But if you just do right. missions, then you won't be efficient. So yeah, it's all about that. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> Um, and I personally don't know anything about the, um, the solo game. Yes. If you can share some stuff about it. I think we have released some information, right? Yes. About the solo and the, game. the solo is also in the rule book, so it's in the you rule can book. read yeah. it. But it's a very, it's a simple, I like simple things. I don't like the complicated solo rules. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a simple deck of cards that sort of manipulate uh, the board for you, like simulating other players, so it will remove missions and technology cards from you. Mm -hmm. But the very interesting part and where it becomes a bit more fun is there are these um, there are these passengers that you have on you choose one and randomly or not that you have on your ship oh god i love this one can i so show it yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. i love this so they uh they modify scoring a bit so you mm -hmm. can score some extra points or lose some points if you do mm -hmm. something so you have to play in a specific way so it's like a specific challenge uh, okay. and then they have a special ability that triggers when you flip over a solo card mm -hmm. that has this icon so so they all make the game a little different so they're like little mini challenges for you so so the right. solo mode you can have fun with even if you're not like a solo player you can still have fun with these you can train yourself you can train to become to a be better, better starship game. captain exactly okay and that's what you want to do you want to be the best starship you want to be the best starship captain wow okay yeah. thank you so much peter my pleasure. Um, I love how the game looks. It's super colorful. It is. It's beautiful. And I think it will appeal to a lot of different kinds of gamers. Lighter so. gamers and heavier gamers alike, I think. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much My for, pleasure. for being here. My pleasure. And here's your first 
It is. It's real. It's crazy. It's, it's surreal. Crazy. It's surreal. It's amazing. Wow. I'm very excited for you. And yeah, I guess we can now can um, away, maybe? maybe put everything on, on, the board. on the board so we can switch she to so the clever. next uh, next game we're going to have on stream. Are you excited to meet like the first people who are going to buy the game yes. tomorrow? Uh, it's gonna, I, I want to go around looking at other games, but I think I'll just mostly stand here and look at people yeah, playing yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe secretly, so they don't secretly. know. Secretly. Just I can see how they <laughs> like the game without me explaining it. So you're gonna, gonna be fun. for people who are here, you're gonna see Peter stock, stock players. Yes. That's what you're gonna see. It's very, it's problematic <laughs> that I have a, I'm too easily recognizable. Yeah, you are very recognizable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. Disguise. I'll figure out the disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, you can find Peter, uh, Peter at Tabletop Together, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Reviews and thoughts on games and. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Check it out. Yes. Thank you so much, Peter. My pleasure. Enjoy the fair. And then have a It's awesome gonna be stream. great. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you later. And see you later, everyone. Bye.